Hi, James Whale here, and you're watching Weird World Fives. We're going to be rounding off some of the most popular unsolved crimes from across the world. Grizzly murders, head-scratching robberies, and some just downright inconceivable cases that gave investigators many a sleepless night. Number 5. Rio de Janeiro in 1966, two middle-aged men were discovered dead on Vintum Hill, wearing suits and waterproof coats. Lead eye masks, leading to this to be called the lead masks case. Also a water bottle, two towels and a notebook, with this message written inside. 1630, be at a greed place. 1830, swallow capsules. After effect, protect metals. Wait for mask signal. Investigations turn nothing up. What were they there for? What capsules did they swallow? And why? Why were they dressed like that? Grizzly crime number four. In 1971, a man calling himself Dan Cooper mislabeled D.B. Cooper by the media, well, don't they always, hijacked Northwest Airlines Flight 305, demanding $200,000 and four parachutes. After releasing the passengers, the plane took off again with the money. Cooper jumped from the plane into the dark, rainy abyss, never to be seen again. Nine years later, nearly $6,000 of the money was found 20 miles away from where about he jumped out of the plane. The first and so far only evidence of him on the ground. Weird Grizzly Crime number three. In 1990, two men dressed as police officers entered the Gardner Museum in Boston, subdued the guards and walked out with 13 pieces of art by the likes of Rembrandt and Vermeer, worth up to a whopping $500 million. For such a high profile heist, it's incredible to see how easy the thieves made it happen. And to this day, the artwork is still unaccounted for. Have you got it? Grizzly crime fact number two. Finding a foot on the beach would be strange. But having 15 turn up along the same stretch of water makes for bizarre understanding. The Salish Sea, located between Seattle and Vancouver on west coast of North America, has been the home of this strange occurrence since 2007. Most of the feet only belong to one person each, and not all have been identified, leaving investigators scratching their heads over why these keep turning up on their beaches. And where are the others? Number one, an unidentified man was found dead on Somerton Beach, south of Adelaide in Australia in 1948. No clue to his identity. A suitcase linked to the man made the police no wiser. And a small piece of paper with the words, Tamam should, was found in a hidden pocket. Traced to a rare book which had strange codes written at the back, which haven't yet to this day been cracked. Autopsy couldn't conclude how he died, but the likely cause was poison. Yet no poison could be traced. So who was he? A spy? A time traveler? Maybe you could crack the code and solve the mystery. And if you do, let me know. That was your Weird World Fives for this week. And if you have any of your own, be sure to pop them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this video and subscribe to our channel, well, please do so. Thanks and see you next time.